Okay, in this video I'm going to, going to be talking about uh, K2 JSON, which is uh, just an API for working with JSON in K2. And um, I just wanted a, the reason I, I've done this is I really need a very simple way to work with JSON. It helps me prototype a little quicker. I don't have to think about the uh, kind of the JSON query language that's used. I just want to use SQL, and, and uh, it's not maybe the most performant way to work with JSON, but it's, uh, this is going to be super quick and easy, and I hope you'll understand how quick and easy it is uh, when uh, I'm done with this little demo. So uh, all of K2, the, the core of K2, K2 is a framework, but then there's a, a repository in the, or a folder in the, pro, uh, the framework called libk2, and that's kind of where all the K2 code uh, operates. And <clears throat> um, we're going to be looking at K2JSON. So here's our little kind of readme, K2JSON MD. It's an overview. The library contains a method for storing JSON in a table by key, and that is stored as a JSON data type. And what you can do with that then is you can create those uh, views and queries off of that, and you can have a system for refreshing that data and storing it somewhere. So um, that's all that is. It's a, it's a place to store JSON chunks in a generic table by key, that you can uh, then operate on. Um, the library also contains a method for parsing all elements in a JSON statement. So any, in theory, any JSON you throw at it, it will um, serialize it or deserialize it. I'm not sure which direction it's going. It's, it's pulling it all apart and putting it into a table. And every row in a table represents one of the values in that JSON statement. And that's what I'm going to show you. And that's the JSON data table. Um, and you can, uh, there's a to JSON method which uh, you can convert J, a JSON data type to CLOB. Um, and it, it's kind of a uh, well, monkey patch. Uh, I'll show that to you, but I could not find a better way to do it uh, for what I was trying to do. And the one issue is that a JSON data type in a table can store JSON that is valid, um, but is not valid as a object type, a JSON object type in PLSQL. Um, because it has to be a key, start with a key and then a, and a value. If it starts as an array or a list or uh, is an array or an object, uh, that might not work. Uh, that doesn't work. Uh, so you've got to be able to go from one to the other. Um, okay, so let's look at our test and walk through the test file. So obviously this doesn't uh, encompass every uh, thing you're going to experience, but uh, here's some simple, basically, we have this function that we're going to call in our tests, and we're, by index, we're going to return some, uh, some text, or CLOB, uh, that represents our JSON. So the simplest example, I'm not going to go through all of these, I'm just going to show you uh, maybe a couple. So this is our simplest example, um, and uh, uh, then we get a little bit more complicated, and so on. Um, test a boolean, test a null, um, and uh, go down. So I'm going to show you what that does. And then we get down to uh, this number nine, which is uh, more complicated and is not actually, would not actually work. Um, I'll, I'll show you something we do when we, when we try to uh, deserialize this. Um, and so we, we set up that procedure truncate all the data in JSON data and our ArcSQL log just to clear things up. Uh, this is not meant to run in, it's only meant to run in like a dev environment if you don't want to wipe that data out. Um, and you can see we have a JSON data type in a CLOB, uh, a CLOB that we're going to use somewhere down in the test. So the first test is uh, we're init, init, initting the test as a, with a name. And then we're calling our K2 JSON JSON to data table. And this is where we get the JSON string and we give it a key and uh, it is going to put it in uh, our table. And then we're going to see, we're going to use the get JSON data string to get root.name, which should be John. And so let's go ahead and just, I'm going to comment out all the other tests here. And we're going to run that. So let's see, we're going to run that. Nope, that's wrong. Where are we at? Where are we at? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we're going to run that. 
going to connect. Okay, so now let's go look at our table. So we're going to look at JSON data. And you can see, let's go back and look at what the JSON was. So this was our root.car. Yeah, this is our, our, our data. We have name, John, age 30, car, null. And what we end up with is by our key, our JSON key test, we get root.car, root.age, root.name. Uh, these are all... Um, they're not arrays, so there's no index. Uh, the data type, if it's null, it, it goes to unknown uh, number or string. Um, our data size, this is the number of elements. It's not the length, um, so it's the number of elements. If an array, it would report the number of elements. And then we have a key, so we can just say, you know, car age. You know, keys can be duplicated at various different paths. Um, and we have the value of the data. And so you could operate on this directly, or you can use the, you know, get uh, JSON data string, get JSON data uh, I think number, whatever it is in that package, but you can you could create cursors. You could say everywhere we're JSON path like. So let's do a little a, a more complicated, or let's do to do a far more complicated example. Let's do number nine. So um, we go back to test and comment that out, and let's pull up nine. Now for nine we add something called the root key because this JSON is not valid for the object, uh, json.plsql object type because it starts with this list or this uh, uh, array. And it's not valid. So we have to kind of make it uh, the object, uh, the value of some key. And we're gonna, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna inject a key customers and make that the object of customers. So customers will appear in our path, and that's why our test looks for that. So let's go ahead and run uh, test number nine. And let's go look at our data. So now you can see we've got uh, root dot customers is our array it's got and it's a size of eight so we know root dot customers eight is an object root dot customers uh, eight dot profile is is data index eight is an object uh, it's got six elements you know so this is for me is a lot easier to work with like in 10 minutes like if i need to go grab some json i'm not really familiar with the structure is it's kind of complicated uh, I can call the make the rest call, call this, and then write some code to parse out like what I'm pretty sure I want. Like, oh, I want everything that's root dot customers dot, you know, percent, uh, percent profile percent this, and uh, you know, and uh, we could even use and the data key as address or something like that. This I've got more things to grab to filter what I want. So. How fast does this work? Well, I'm on the free tier Oracle uh, cloud database, and I think I wrote, uh, I thought I put it in the notes here, but I, I pulled th this test, which isn't enabled, you have to kind of un uncomment this. These test scripts aren't necessarily, they're, they're something to, to work with when you're doing development, make sure you're not breaking things. They're not, they don't run all the time, they're not automated. And, you, and they kind of help you understand how things work. Um, I think the, the K2 JSON movies test it pull, it, without I turned debug log level off, it ran in like a minute and a half, and it was like 30,000 movies basically, and like 200,000 records. Um, that's not bad, you know. Uh, this is a good start. You can always refactor. You can get your, you get your code working, and then you go refactor it. You go change it later. Uh, you, you, you get it, you know, using native uh, JSON functionality without using this later if needed. Uh, so, I'm somebody that is always refactoring my code. Always, I, I don't, I don't write the the first code I write is never the code that that that, that we need to want to live with. And uh, essentially, no code in here should be untouchable. Should all be able to be uh, made better, simpler, reduce, get rid of uh, those kinds of things. So. So anyway, that is K2 JSON. Uh, that's the data. So let me just show you on the 
on the storing, let me let me pull up the package header. So you've got um, k2json, yeah, package header. So we have json to data table, which, uh, okay, that that that's sorry, that's what we were just talking about. Store data is how we store data. So this stores data in uh, our 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 table uh, called uh, json store. So what we were looking at was the json data functionality. And we have JSON store functionality. And I'll try to keep this as simple as possible. One of my complaints is, that, you know, with all the different ways we can work with JSON, it gets very confusing as to what works when, with what data types, with what sizes. And uh, it gets a little bit, uh, you, if you work with it every day, probably not a big deal. But if you're not working with it every day and, and digging deep in and writing big, big uh, solutions using this, you know, too, too complicated for me. Um, so what we do with JSON store, for example, like my Stripe API will store a piece of JSON data, and then we can update that anytime we want in the table. We have a view based on the data in the table. So let me go look at, uh, let's go look at Stripe. I think it's in the schema too. Uh, no, it's down here. So here we're creating a view called Stripe Products uh, View V off of data in JSON Store, and we're using you know the JSON table function uh, to get what we need. So so you can do that. Uh, that's a way to store data. It's just a generic JSON data store of the JSON data type. So uh, that's pretty much all I've got to cover. Um, you can see, oh, I'm using the JSON data here to in, in the Stripe API. So the Stripe API, you can go look at, is a good place to see how I'm using this. But to me, this was a lot easier than you know, creating a view, a static, I'm, you know, and, and getting these values. Um, the, the Stripe data that comes back is pretty big, pretty extensive, and it takes multiple calls to figure something out, like what the product is. And so uh, this solution worked pretty well. Anyway. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, that's available on the main branch, and I'm going to be moving on to some other uh, stuff now. Thanks.